Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide to the ring rescue compression device procedure. Step one, let's assess the finger. Have a look at the finger and ask the individual how long the ring has been stuck for. Instances where rings have been stuck for under two weeks, one cycle with our device compresses the finger effectively as the cause is most often fluid related. When a ring has been stuck for longer than two weeks or other unique situations, we recommend applying the device for another round as the cause is most often tissue related. In unique cases like osteoarthritis and severe weight gain, you will likely need a ring cutter to remove the ring. However, in these cases, our device compresses the finger to a more manageable size in order to place a ring cutter in more efficiently. Step two, time to put on your gloves. Place the gloves on your hands for proper ring removal. The purpose of the gloves is to provide traction with the ring when the lubricant is applied. This is especially important when you're trying to remove a smooth wedding band. Step three, place the ring into the proper position. Now, let's push the ring back to the base of the finger. This will allow you to place the device over the maximum area of swelling. In some cases, you won't be able to get the ring all the way back, but that's okay. In those cases, let's apply the device over the knuckle. Step four, place the device close to the ring. The device should be over the area of maximum swelling. Place as close to the ring as you can while ensuring the device is not over top of the ring. This can impact the effectiveness of the device and could puncture the internal bladder. Step five, time to inflate the device. Start to inflate the device by turning the valve closed in a clockwise motion. Next, inflate the device until the target zone is achieved. Step six, elevate the hand into the upright position. Have the person elevate their hand to a 90 degree angle with their elbow resting on the table. Keep the hand elevated for a minimum of five minutes. The dial may fall out of the target zone area. Simply reapply more pressure to bring it back to the target zone. During this time, you may notice the person's fingertips turning purple and they may feel a mild tingling sensation. This is very common and will return back to normal when the device is removed. The individual should not feel any discomfort during this process. Step seven. Deflate the device. At least five minutes after application, you can deflate the device by turning the dial counterclockwise. At this time, notice the finger has shrunk. It's important to note that you should not pull the ring off immediately. This can create bunching up of the skin and can cause the finger to swell back up again. You should follow the step-by-step -step guide to ensure that you remove the ring effectively. Step eight, time to apply the lubricant. Only apply the lubricant to the area around the ring, not the entire finger. Ensure lubrication goes underneath the ring by twisting on the spot to ensure lubricant is properly underneath it. At this point, we want to ensure that the ring can freely spin. Step nine, now it's time to effectively remove the ring. One of our most successful techniques is the corkscrew motion. Now is the time for you to start that rotational motion in an attempt to rotate the ring off the finger. Do not rush, don't worry, you have time the finger will not immediately start to swell back up. If meeting resistance from the tissue, you can attempt what we call the rocker technique, which is walking the ring off the finger in a back and forth motion. But remember, slow and steady. If still meeting resistance, use the rocker with the corkscrew motion as they can work together to get the skin underneath the ring. If still meeting resistance, use counter traction with your non-dominant hand to pull the skin back towards the base of the finger while slowly progressing the ring off while using the rocker and corkscrew techniques. If over the knuckle and you're still just hung up on that last bit of skin, have the person bend at the knuckle to a 30 degree angle. It changes the angle and stretches the skin to help you get the ring off. After successful removal, notify the customer to not place the ring back on the finger until properly resized. Remember, it's ring rescue plus you equals success. The device shrinks the finger 100% of the time, but then it's up to you to remove the ring.